Aloha, thank you for joining my live stream. Coming to you live from Honolulu, Hawaii. My name is Master Paul. I'm honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. And I am honored to connect with you here today. I do not have the ability to uh, confirm that the um, audio and video is working well because I do not have my laptop with me. So I see that Yvonne joined. So Yvonne, can you please type in and tell me that you can hear me, that you can see me. I appreciate that. I am on the north shore of the island of Oahu. I had to move because the cell phone signal was weak. So it's possible that uh, I will fade in and out a little bit today. There is wind that comes through this area. It's possible that I will not be heard well sometimes. But when you go live streaming out in nature, that is the case. Uh, yes, but very pretty, very picture. Hi, Master Paul, I can hear you great. Thank you guys. Welcome, Tatiana. Welcome, Kristen. Wonderful to see all of you. It's a little too bright out here for me to take my sunglasses off. One of the downsides of blue eyes is that uh, you, don't, uh, you don't handle bright too well. Um, so I apologize about that aspect. Hopefully everything else is connecting well. So thank you all for joining me. Hopefully you're enjoying the backdrop. Uh, I picked it just for you. And as I was telling the others that just came on, uh, I had to move the camera more than once to, uh, to find a good signal. So I apologize in advance if I am unable to, uh, to maintain a high quality signal. The last two shows actually dropped. I have no idea under what conditions they decided to drop, but at the very end when I was completing, I was probably only one minute away from actually finishing the show, and then it just cut off. So I hope I'm able to finish my shows. So welcome Anne-Marie, um, welcome Connie, thank you for joining. Uh, uh, definitely good eye, good eye from Sydney, love you. I spent uh, time down in uh, Australia and um, that, was the, that was the first time I heard the words good on ya or how you going. You know over here we say how are you doing, they say how you going mate. So it took me a while to, to grab on to that. One time the guy at 7-Eleven asked me if I was on uh, holiday, and in America, holiday is like Christmas, Easter, New Year's. I said, no, I'm not on holiday. I was on vacation. And he kind of looked at me like I was obviously not from there. So thank you all for joining. Today's show is on the subject of overcoming fear. For example, I had a little apprehension around getting set up in time and connecting with all you on time. I was driving here on the North Shore and in Hawaii on a holiday such as today, there is gobs of traffic. And when we get to a bottleneck area over here on the North Shore where everybody wants to be, it's two lanes, one each way. So we were still about a mile and a half from where I wanted to start this show. And uh, there was no way I was gonna get there in time. So I just started to work in divine timing and uh, pulled off where I was told to pull off and walked quickly to this area of the beach and it worked out quite well. So thank you, Divine. Mm -hmm. So let us all first connect, heart mm -hmm. to heart, soul to soul. Placing your hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. And welcome, Dove, thank you for joining. So the picture may fade in and out through the course of this day, we'll do the best we can. Dear beloved divine, dear Tao, dear source, dear Master Shah, all layers of the divine Tao and the source, to the soul of this subject of overcoming fear, the highest and best wisdom associated with this, could you all please be present? To the soul of all those on the line, all of the best, highest insights that can be offered to those the best way I can explain those insights in such a way that everyone gets the aha moments they are needing. Could you please be present? To the soul of our heavens, teams, guides, angels and saints and all of our downloads and treasures, please turn on. We love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you all and we 
are so, 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 so very grateful for the opportunity to be connected to your souls and receive your guidance, healings, and blessings. We thank the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony for its unconditional service to all souls. We ask it to turn on now. We ask it to gather as many souls as possible to today's event and to all those that come on the line. We ask that it serve them. We are deeply humbled and grateful. So let us chant Love, Peace, Harmony together for just a moment or two to connect our hearts and souls and then we will move forward. Welcome Carrie, welcome Crystal, and welcome Nicholas. Let us chant. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li. I was in her ling. Oh, I tremblingly only hearing wrong her bushes. So I ping on her seat. So I ping on her seat. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. So, welcome, Magdalene. Welcome, Margaret. And welcome, Esther. Thank you so much for joining. Please, if you have any questions around the subject of fear, specifically any area in your life where you see it limiting where you would like to be, could be related to any subject, could be related to relationship, could be related to fear of success, fear of failure, could be related to um, business, or any other area of your life, fear of communication with one of your loved ones, children, etc. State your questions, we'll do some soul readings on it. And then uh, I will most likely choose a, um, a person to do a demonstration today. Okay, so Kristen, I saw your question earlier. I'll answer it first. Great topic. My greatest fear is my own greatness, allowing my light to shine, that people may think, who does she think she is? Or who is she pretending to be? I have perfected the art of self-sabotage. Ha! I think you're not alone. Okay, so if you try not to say fear of success and fear of failure by itself, try to be a little bit more specific. I have a fear of success in da 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 da. I have a fear of failure in da 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 da. It's much easier to do a soul reading for you individually if you're able to be specific. So let's talk to Kristen about her fear of being seen, being in the spotlight, um, and what people might think. The soul of Kristen's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. The soul of Kristen's fears, as um, written here, and the higher and deeper meanings behind it. The soul of the highest and best wisdom can, that can be taught and shared with Kristen at this time, as well as any um, guidance, wisdom, and insights that can assist her to break through and pass this fear. We love you, we honor you, appreciate you, and we ask you to please be present at this time to offer your greatest insights. And I, if I have not called forth the soul of Master Shah, I bow down, I deeply apologize. Please be present as appropriate. Offer your, your love, guidance, and blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the soul of the one known as Kristen Rojas. I have watched you, my dear, battle with this one back and forth, battling with the idea of being that little girl that shines in the spotlight on the stage, the one that dances freely, 
belches out that song at the top of her lungs and revels in the applause, juxtaposed against the one that wants to be humble, that wants to be unseen but do the service. There is a time and a place for both, and there is a way that both can be accomplished. For example, you see our beloved Master Shah. He is out in the open. He is in the public's eye. Every word that he says is listened to by literally billions of ears, and on earth, hundreds of thousands. And what does he do when he is in the public spotlight? He remains humble. He takes no credit. He offers the credit to where it originated from. This is the lesson to be learned by all those that have this same fear. Go out, be in that spotlight. Yell at the top of your lungs that which feels truthful to you, that which resonates with your heart. And then give the credit to the beloved Creator and to the originator of the wisdom that you are sharing Master Shah, this is your soul. You are very loved. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So hopefully that uh, got some aha moments. Please share your responses to the soul readings. If anybody has the third eyes open, any third eye images during the readings are wonderful to share. Thank you so much. Okay. And Yvonne, uh, uh, fear of success and full responsibility. Uh, she says, okay, so, so let's go ahead and work with that one. I will tune into what you really uh, were intending to say, Yvonne. <coughs> Dear the soul of Yvonne, Yvonne's uh, deeper question around the fear of success and full responsibility and the deeper meaning behind that and the highest and best most appropriate answer for her, the soul of her heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, the soul of any lifetime in which these fears and or conditions have kept her from fulfilling her intentions and responsibilities. Could you all please be present? Could you offer the highest, best, most appropriate guidance, wisdoms, and insights for our beloved Yvonne at this time? And one thing to know for all those that are listening is very often soul readings are received and verbiage in a way heaven gives me the message and the verbiage in such a way that uh, all those that are watching are also being taught and receiving uh, specific wisdom and insights so do pay attention as if this was your question in many cases so we will continue <laughs> How for our dear Yvonne, we truly appreciate the plethora of ideas and ways in which you wish to bring Master Shah's vision and wisdom to the world. We recognize that you feel minimized in your ability to accomplish this because of your lack of technical awareness and the learning curve as such. What we would recommend is to use your native language to connect with the youth in your area that have the idea and intention of opening their spiritual awarenesses, to communicate with them the wisdom and teachings first to assist them in their youthful questions. They may have blockages in the areas of relationship. They may have a high level of stress and association with education. We recommend that you do not answer with your mind, that you only answer with the teachings of Dr. and Master Shah by teaching them how to fish by teaching them how to de-stress using love, peace, and harmony, and other aspects of Master Shah's teachings. We recommend 
that you apply only and always the teachings from the books for them. In this reciprocal fashion, as they connect to your heart and these wisdom and teachings, you can then ask them to assist you on the technical aspects to empower those things you wish to put into place to serve Master Shah. It is a great way to both open a new opportunity with a younger group, to explain things using your native language, as this would greatly uh, allow you to communicate the way you know you can with this wisdom, and it would give you the opportunity after you offer them the service for them to offer you service in return. We hope this will assist you in achieving the responsibility you feel with success in delivering these messages. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so please share your responses. Any third eye images? Thank you so much. I'm excited. All of you are joining. We have somebody's asked a question here. Um, okay, Magdalene, what I'm going to ask you to do is I have to, I have to uh, open the private message to read. So if you would, um, if you're okay with it, then put it in the um, in the the text here with the ongoing flow instead of in a private message. Uh, if it's private, then I'll have to come to it later, okay? But if it's okay with everyone to see, go ahead and copy it into the flow of all these other uh, uh, ongoing messages. Okay. Carrie McCurty, uh, Master Paul, I study occupational therapy or kindergarten teaching. Um, should I study occupational therapy or kindergarten teaching? I'm scared to make the wrong choice. Okay. To the soul of Carrie McCurty, the soul of her Heaven's Teams Guide to Angels and Saints, the soul of Master Shaw, all of the wisdom skills, uh, teachings, and insights from her educational background in this life and all lifetimes. Could you please be present? To the soul of her wisdom, skill, and backgrounds in association with the choice of occupational therapy or in association with the choice of kindergarten teaching. All those that could potentially be benefited from either of these, could you please be present? To the soul of the highest and best choice for uh, Carrie at this time. Uh, and why one or the other might be a higher and better choice for her. Could you please be present at this time? Please offer the most relevant wisdom, guidance, and insights for Carrie to make the highest and best choice for herself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. Give me a moment, I'm still receiving information. How? Oh. This is your Heaven's Teams. Our beloved Master Paul has checked his divine pendulum. He has received that in your case, kindergarten teaching might be a better fit for you. He was not sure why, and so he has asked us to speak. We wish to share with you that your heart, your intention to serve our beloved children is very deep. You, on some levels, know that this would be something that would be exceedingly rewarding. There are some limitations, of course, such as the income, but there are other benefits that you truly value. It is not that the other choice would not have great value to you. One of the things that is occurring with the other choice that could eventually bring about stress is the shift in the way an individual is paid and the way the insurance companies work the structural aspects of an occupational therapy 
would create some mind-based blockages and would not allow you to connect to your heart as well as you desire to. With the opportunity through being a kindergarten teacher, you would have a far higher level of creativity, ability to share. You would be able to incorporate the soul communication processes and uh, the divine healing hands to bring about a truly wonderful uh, service. Those children who have troubled homes, you could, of your own accord, uh, do soul conferencing with those parents and offer guidance, wisdom, and insights. The possibility of the introduction of love, peace, and harmony only to your class as a joyful way to serve humanity could eventually expand to a much larger arena. This is part and parcel of a bigger picture that we know would bring the greatest joy to your heart. We are not here to tell you which is the choice for you. It is important for you to look at the different variables that would truly make your heart the happiest, as the rest tends to take care of itself. We are here to always assist you, and we are confident that whatever choice you make, that it will be the one that best serves you. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for that question, Carrie. Uh, Tatiana, uh, work-related fear of other co-workers and supervisors not being nice to me. Okay. And I want to acknowledge uh, Pat, Pat join us, Kat join us, Christine Langnickel, welcome. Stephanie Cannon joined us, welcome. Chai joined us. And so thank you all. We'll come down to you in just a minute. We'll go back to Tatiana's question. Work-related fear of other co-workers and supervisors not being nice to me. To the soul of these sets of conditions, all of the underlying karmic aspects behind them, any of the karmic relationships involved, the soul of the highest best wisdom and information that can best assist our beloved Tatiana with uh, dissolving these blockages and realigning her thoughts and perspectives such that it brings about the greatest set of conditions. Would you all please be present, uh, borrow my mouth to speak whatever is most needed for our beloved Tatiana to hear. Thank you. How? This is a spokesperson for all of those that you call co-workers. I have come to speak on the behalf of all of us. You, my beloved Tatiana, are not disliked in the way of we hate you. We actually appreciate many of your talents. What happens is the way that you bring yourself to the environment here and in past lifetimes is viewed by us as prima donna, as authoritative, as I am right and you are not. It is perceived by us as I don't really honor your views because I have mine and I have thought about them exceedingly long and so I am sure they are the right ones. We ask that regardless of your continued choice to work with us or any other organization for the blessings associated with your soul journey that you consider honoring everyone's perspective in a much more authentic and real way to allow them to fully and completely be heard to recognize that we all have that need and that there is always seven billion perspectives on one subject and all seven billion could potentially be right especially for that individual we wish to honor your intelligence but it is difficult for us to honor that when we ourselves are not heard so you will find a much greater camaraderie and alignment with with us and any future uh, places you work if you first open yourself up to listen to everybody, validate everybody's perspective, and then ask if your perspective can also be heard. In this way, with a full rounded perspectives, 
everybody can be honored and served. We wish that this assists you with not only reducing your fear, but understanding that it came from a place of our inability to communicate in a loving and honest way with you. We love you and we always wish the best for all of us as we do not want to have a karmic retribution involved here. Please forgive us. We very much want to forgive you. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you to that spokesperson for all the people that you work with. Thank you for coming at this time. Hopefully that brought some enlightenment to you, Tatiana. Please share. Ivan, sorry my tablet just decided to drop. They do that. Okay. Uh, Annika joined. Welcome, Annika. Sorry I didn't see your name popping earlier. Dove, uh, I have a fear of people and being in public and making new friends. Good one. You're probably not alone with that one. So let's see what guidance the Soul World has for us on that one. To the soul of our beloved Dove. Dove's uh, concerns about making new friends and, and being in public in general. Uh, and specifically the way she perceives it, the way it inhibits her from connecting to more people, the way maybe she would like to. The soul of the source of this, in this and all lifetimes, could you please be present? To the soul of the highest, best guidance, wisdom, information, and insights that can best serve Dove to help overcome this fear. To the soul of any of the soul healing wisdom that can uh, be uh, offered to Dove in this way, could you please also come forth? Any of the Akashic Record lifetimes that might be related to these uh, potential blockages that are present in Dove's life, could you also please reveal yourself at this time? We are exceedingly, exceedingly grateful for this opportunity to receive your guidance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So there's two souls I want to talk of. The first one is your soul. My dear Dove, some of the apprehension you have been feeling is because of my pushing you. When our beloved teacher asks us to go out and serve, I am in such pain because I know who Master Shah is. I know what he can do to serve others. I know the necessity and the importance of doing what he is asking. And so I push you, and then it butts up against the fears. There were two lifetimes in which we carry forth negative memories. One was a lifetime in the time of what was known as witches. And in this lifetime, you were quiet. You were just doing your own thing in your cabin. You would serve those that needed love. You would serve those that needed healing. You were very connected at that time to some of the earth wisdoms, some of the I, I can't grab it right now. It's that it's that Celtic uh, uh, teaching that is based on all of the all the earth rituals and all of the the miracle magical stuff that happens with that. I know you know what I mean, but I can't think of it right now. And during that time, but as is the case with all things that are misunderstood, there was great judgment and criticism. You were basically ostracized even in the face of some of the highest level of um, um, nobility that would come to you through their couriers privately, they in the public would still not support you. And so you led this life of privacy, fearing to go out for ridicule, fearing to go out mm -hmm. to be judged. There is another lifetime in Christ's days in which you knew the Master, you were very clear who he was, but as a wife to a um, 
I want to say Roman husband. I don't know if that's what it was at that time. But the but your husband would belong to the army or, or, or opposite of Christ, so you could not speak out, and this silencing truly hurt your heart in a very deep way. And you knew that if you spoke out, that it could hurt your beloved teacher Jesus. And so it was this combination of fears that have kept you in this place. My encouragement to you, dear Doug, is to do as the book says. Face your fear and do it anyway. What you will find when you go up to that person and you speak what you want to speak, when you go up to that person that is injured and you say, you know, I believe I can help you. I have something called divine healing hands. Are you interested in learning more about it or receiving a blessing? When you take that risk, you will be rewarded again and again. And this will offset that fear. There is truly in your case no other way to diminish the negative memories other than having them removed through a karma cleansing. This should assist you greatly. Do it in little increments, in safe increments. Each increment will create a success and that will assist you to move forward. I am your soul. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you, uh, Dove, for that question. I'm pretty sure other people have similar things going on, so they'll probably get a lot from that. Uh, Esther, fear for business and finance. I usually have the feeling of not working, a job or business or money, and this sensation is in my stomach, like bother me for weeks, can't sleep. Okay, fear for business and finance. I usually have the feeling of not working, uh, okay, so it's not a uh, well uh, voiced, um, so I'm going to have to go to the soul of it and then give you an answer accordingly, Esther. So do the soul of Esther's statement, the soul of how it's impacting her emotionally, how it shows up in her stomach. The um, original blockage associated with not working, not wanting to work. Uh, any of the emotional mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, or tie-ins to this uh, to generate appropriate monies and incomes. Um, could you all please be present in the soul of any of the lifetimes in which this has been predominant in Esther's life that might be impacting this lifetime? Any of the underlying reasons associated with it? Could you all please be present at this time, by my mouth, to help uh, offer this guidance, wisdom, and insight to our beloved Esther? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lu la lu la li, lu la lu la la li, lu la lu la li, lu la lu la li, lu la lu la li, lu la. For our beloved Esther, the root of this is in the earth element associated with your spleen. There is a condition of worry. This condition impacts the digestive system as well, knots up in your stomach, so to speak. It is more of an earth element blockage than it is an organ or system blockage. It has a root in multiple lifetimes in which your ancestors and you a little bit offered great harm to our beloved Mother Earth. This harm included scorching the earth. It included some chemical activity that harmed it. It also included some of the ancestors that did associations with the equivalent of what is known today as nuclear proliferation in which there was testing and in those times. 
these karmas are somewhat deep and it impacts you in multiple areas. It leaches into the other elements. For example, the earth element leaches in to the metal element, causing um, bouts of unknown sadness without really knowing why. And some occasionally allergic breathing restrictions that tend to not have any direct association. There is other directions that it comes from, which is the heart. There could be, and I'm guessing, bouts of uh, depression. Uh, and they're minor, but they uh, show up sometimes for no reason. This is the girth of this metal element uh, blockage because the element is in all life. It is in the shin Jing of all life. It would be of value for you to consider blessings for the strengthening and removal of the blockages associated with the earth element. It would be of huge value for you to call forth all your ancestors and do forgiveness practice with Mother Earth. Mother Earth has received the Jindan of love, peace, and harmony, and you can ask that soul song to turn on in all your ancestors, and of course in you, in all of the earth element Shen Qi and Jing that had been uh, uh, damaged, and chant to serve her. This will eliminate little by little, and you will find that as you do that, money will flow, the desire to go to work will shift, and the ability to maintain this will shift. It will take a bit of time, so be consistent. A blessing could go a long way. Locate a master that has the earth element calligraphy and ask them to do tracing for you. You are very blessed to have been made aware of this information mm -hmm. because in this lifetime this could come to you and bring difficulty in the form of a health concern. So do your best to address this with the greatest love and that health concern could never come to the surface. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you Esther for that question, very good question. Okay, and Christine, Again, welcome. Hello, dearest Master Paul. May I receive a guidance for the relationship with my mother, which is a challenging one. <laughs> okay, so think of your mother, think of her name, think of her face. Do the soul of Christine, Christine's mother, as she's thinking of him. Uh, do the soul of uh, the records uh, that, that in any way, shape, or form might bring value to answering this question. The soul of the relationship of all lifetimes between Christine and her mother. Uh, the associated mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, carryovers, and what, if anything, can be done in this lifetime? What, if anything, uh, could and should be done to assist with um, both Christine's uh, perspective, the um, way in which she can bring herself to her mother, and the way in which she can serve her mother and her relationship in the highest and best manner? We love you, Ani, appreciate you, respect you all. Please offer your best guided wisdom and insights at this time. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. La, lu, la, li, la, lu, la, la, li, la, lu, la, li, la. How? Mm -hmm. it's, it's your mother's soul. Mm -hmm. Dear Christine, you know how I am. You know I don't even know how to change. I was taught strictly and I know no other way. I have told you that I loved you a few times.
I just don't know how to open my heart. It has been like this my whole life. Please help me to open my heart. Do as many blessings as you can for me. My soul and my journey needs it. I know you need my love. I know you need my words. I know you need me to tell you one. But I want you to remember that it is not my love that matters. It is God's love that matters. You are blessed. You have met the teacher that can take you to the heart of God. I wish I had that opportunity. I wish I had the open heart that you have. When I bark at you, please send me love. When I judge you, guilt you, know that my soul hurts, but I am unable to stop the bulldog part of me that is so patterned in. Please help me to open my heart. My soul, I, the one speaking, knows of this harm to you. We actually do not have a lot of karma, you and I, save that which I had created between us. I apologize. Your forgiveness to me is very important because I do not wish to be the one on the receiving end of your reminders of how I have been, how my personality has been in this life. Your compassion and understanding is important and your ability to help me in this life is of great importance. I love you so much and I beg of you to continue to be open-hearted to me. How, how, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to the soul of Christine's mother. I hope that served you well, Christine. Um, more recently with some of my, um, yesterday I had a soulmate um, session. It was the third session. And the client that I was working with is, is very mental, uh, meaning she, she's always in her mind. She's very intelligent, not mental as in weird or sick, but intelligent mental. And so it's very hard for her to connect to her heart. And it's very hard for her to connect to all the suffering she's experienced in this life in relationships. And, um, you know, so in the third session, we get to some, some breaking points. And um, with her, I did, a, I did a soul reading. And she wasn't overly familiar with Master Shah or soul readings or any of that. And what I was surprised about was her mother came through, her father came through, her sister came through. Uh, there was four souls that came through. They all had their own unique way of saying things, their own tone, their own language, their own energy. And she was crying um, uh, through it because it finally cracked open her heart. It finally opened her heart enough to grasp the connectivity of her karma. And she grew up Catholic, so it was hard for her to grasp that relevance. But fortunately, the souls that came um, spoke to her heart and they asked for forgiveness the way that they communicated um, and fortunately the soul world offered the wisdom in such a way that she was able to 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 level up so I'm, I'm very grateful for that for the soul world because they tend to bring exactly what's needed to move to the next level so thank you for that opportunity to share um, okay the soul world type for me great instead of fear for success and responsibilities they always have a plan for me for success I love high tech and I'll learn thank you you're welcome Pat JD my greatest fear is not having finances to acquire the necessities okay and I'm just kind of cruising to the others to see what we have and I'll be back okay so maybe we'll go a little long today we'll see I think we'll probably have about 15 20 minutes left uh, when I'm on the phone I can't actually see the time uh, this would let me go live streaming for actually up to 90 minutes. We'll just serve you as long as I'm 
uh, connected. Okay, Pat, my greatest fear is not having finances to acquire the necessities. This is all of Pat, Pat's fear of not having the finances for necessities. What can be offered to her in terms of the correct mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs to mm -hmm. offset that, as well as any practices that could assist Pat, any mm -hmm. guidance and insights? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, yeah, 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 For our dear Pat, virtually all of these fears come from multiple lifetimes in which you lived in short supply. You literally would hold on to a loaf of bread and make it last four days for the entire family. There were multiple lifetimes. There was a lifetime as a potato farmer with the Great Famine of um, the Irish Great Famine, in which not only did you see loved ones die uh, and Great Plague, you had to go through some of the hardest, ex hardest experiences of your life. And these created a, um, a self-fulfilling prophecy in the form of the energetics associated with it. When we recognize it as souls, we are manifestors that the predominancy of our thoughts create the stepping stones in front of us. If the predominancy of lifetimes of thoughts are fear about not having enough food, a little bit of hoarding mentality, and or just not knowing where the next amount is going to come from, then that manifestation comes forth in what is called negative memories and that has a layer that runs through your future. So what our recommendation to you, our dear JD, is is to focus in every moment as much as you can on all those things to be grateful for. The next bite of food, be grateful for. The roof over your head, be grateful for. The ability to drive down the street and the vehicle works. The noticing of the person on the sidewalk that has lost a limb and you have all yours. There is no shortage of things to be grateful for. Why is this being taught to you? Number one, it offsets the fear. Number two, it resets the energetic impulse that had been stuck with you for multiple lifetimes and creates <coughs> a new memory, a memory of gratitude. <coughs> Excuse me. Apply this, do not forget it, write it down, put it on every wall, in every mirror, in the mirror on your car. Make it your life mantra because it is necessary at these levels to shift this in its entirety. And then your future lifetimes as well as this can have far greater benefit. All of this wisdom is good for all of you that will watch this video. When we stay in the place of gratitude for all that comes to us in each moment, it is not possible for the karma that we hold on to to show itself. And therefore, any of the other manifestations we put our mind on, including relationship, a better job, a better business, whatever it may be, has no blockages that would keep it from coming to you because you are in the right positioning to receive it. We hope this message assists all of you. You are all deeply loved. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a great message, huh? I got to do that one too a lot more. Okay, Magdalena O'Meara. I was thinking of moving, but I'm unsure where to go. I have some ideas. I was thinking of Orlando area. Someone else suggested uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, or Sarasota. I am gradually working out blockages and uh, would greatly benefit from any reading or guidance that may come forth. Thank you. Okay, Magdalene. Okay. Okay, so I got a yes on Georgia, I got a yes on North Carolina, I got a yes on Orlando. I got a no on South Carolina and Sarasota.
so um, the Georgia, what I'm getting actually is is there will be um, there's karmic racial stuff going on for you. So Georgia wouldn't be the best place now anyway. Um, and you might not know that on the surface, but it's somewhere underneath. Uh, so it's Orlando and North Carolina. So what I would do is just do the due diligence in terms of the, the obvious, the job, the stability, where you would live, friends, things like that. And then uh, make a better choice from that, from that generality. So hopefully that helps. Okay, Carrie. Uh, thank you so much, Master Paul. I had a dream last night, and in the dream, the person said to do kindly teachings. So very happy with the reading. Oh, and this is on the kindergarten reading. Wonderful, wonderful, great. Okay, Crystal, Master Paul, may I receive any guidance uh, that my Heavens team would like to share with me regarding your fears? Um, So what I'd like to do, Chris, I really need a bit more specifics on your fears. We'll go ahead and I'll do a, a quick one on this. Um, but, you know, I'm, there's so many different areas fears can show up. Ideally, anybody's asking a question, we want it to be as specific as possible where the fear shows up. For our dear Crystal, and for virtually everybody that watches this, what is the opposite of fear? Love. When we are out of alignment with love, then the predominancy of worry doubt, fear, the unknown, etc., has the opportunity to take hold. How do we stay in love? Do we stay in love by giving our love to our mates with hopes of receiving it? Do we stay in love by watching a movie about love? Could but you will find these returns are fleeting and do not sustain the fulfillment. Love is connected to always finding God in everything. Like the gratitude comments before, what is gratitude but acknowledging God? What is love but acknowledging God? When you spend a bit more time in gratitude, in acknowledging God, however it presents itself, fear and the associated emotions, worry and doubt, unsurety, lack of direction, do not have an opportunity to gather steam better to let the fear remind you, oh, thank you for showing up. Your service is to remind me that I am not staying in enough love and gratitude and alignment with all of the wonderful things that I have. That is the service of these souls, and that is the best way it can serve you. Love it, acknowledge it, ask it to return to the heart of the divine to serve others that might be needing it and choose the opposite of it. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Loveness. I have fear of being uh, big as in living a blissful life even though we want it and feel it's very close. Okay. Get the soul of loveness. Loveness is desire to be big and the fear of that. The, any of the lifetimes in which that has been present for her and what she can do to move through and past that. Could you please be present? Is offer the greatest insights for her at this time. 
For our dear loveness, this also for you comes from a lifetime of being big and being quashed more than once. You are one of those that stands up and stands out for what you know to be true. You have, however, been hurt before. For you, do forgiveness practice around the lifetimes to all of those who judged you, who uh, chastised you, who pushed you asunder, all of those who minimized you, judged and criticized you for standing up for what you knew was right, those who jailed you, those who tortured you, forgive them all. Then ask Master Shah's soul, the soul of Divine Tao and Source, to fuel your continued strengthening of your, con of your direction. You must learn, dear one, how to do soul marketing and soul communication. More will come, but you must be persistent with this every day. We are behind you. We will bring you legions, but you must do the soul marketing and also release the memories. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Magdalene O'Meara, I think maybe I should move. We covered that, okay. Um, Stephanie, I have fear with the attention to me when I speak on stage, stage fright kind of feeling, anywhere around people's social fear too. Thank you. Okay. To the soul of Stephanie Cannon, Stephanie's uh, specific listed fears, um, what would be the best practices, guidance, wisdom, or insights for Stephanie and any origins of this and what she can do to accomplish what she would like to do around this subject? Any additional insights regarding past lifetimes, please be present. <laughs> For our dear Stephanie, you have the intelligence, the desire, the knowledge, the ability to express the knowledge well. What happens for you is kind of like a outboard motor on a boat that stops and starts, moves you ten feet, and then and then you yank the cord again to start it again. This is because actually of the lack of flow in your seven soul houses. There is blockage in your Y jowl, the space in the center of your back, and there needs to be flow so that <coughs> the communication channels all of the organs associated emotions are not stuttering. There is fear being held in the kidney and water element area, but it is not so deep that it cannot be purified and cleansed through seven soul house and Y Jiao chanting. <coughs> we recommend you get Master Shah's newest CD. Play it all night long when you sleep. Ask your soul, the soul of your seven soul houses, your kidneys, your three jowls, upper, middle, lower jowl, and your Y jowl. They all have souls. Ask them to chant all night long to clear the blockages and to prepare you to serve in the arena that you desire to serve. Especially if you do this chanting, uh, at least 15 minutes prior to going in front of others, you will notice that the majority of that is simply not present because you will be in your jong. You will not have the stuttering that was spoken of. We are confident that if you apply this wisdom, you will have great success. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
So if you don't understand what those things are, Stephanie, just let me know and uh, we'll get you some guidance on that. Okay, Tatiana, thank you. Uh, Master Paul, you are so welcome, Tatiana. Hopefully the message from your co-workers brought you some good insights. Eva, join. Welcome, Eva. Thank you for joining. Uh, Dove, I'm sorry, I had an emergency call. I would go back to listen. Okay, no worries, Dove. It was actually some pretty good insights. Um, love this. I love, uh, I love you, beloved Master Paul. Love you too. Love you all. Countless bottoms to all of you. I'm going to do a, a, one final thing this year, and then we're going to do, then I'll check uh, to offer blessings. Um, at JD, let me see, let me check one thing. So, um, Pat, JD, we'll have to cover that at a different time. Welcome, Renee. Welcome, my wife. Welcome, Mion. Welcome, Mion. Great to see you. Uh, <coughs> and then again, on the financial fears, Crystal, we'll come back to that a little bit later. Christine, there's Master Paul. I moved to tears. Thank you from my heart and soul for your love and guidance. Since many years, I do soul communication and forgiveness practice with my mother and our relationships. Um, and don't want to see me, not to react and still be in love and blessings. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. I'm glad that you. Uh, 